Hi, I want to talk about language. Okay, it's my belief that that language is not really suitable for talking about life philosophically as I understand it now. And I think we need to improve language. Now, language is very adaptable, so though I think we can really talk about everything in a philosophical language, you know, and do so precisely and know what we're saying, you know, poets think you can speak about all of life in poetic language and so on. You know, there's, there's the possibility of many different languages. And then language I'd like to see for philosophers, I would like to all, many things, but um, the, what I'm going to talk about right now is I would like to see the uh, uh, value judgments taken out of words so that words themselves are not the repository of value judgments. And value judgments should go in sentences. So for example, the uh, example recently is the word interesting. Now I propose that life is, is interesting and uh, this is my answer to the whole debate of if life is worth living and, and, and what not in which the assumption is that we're trying to figure out if there's more joy or misery as if that's automatically the answer to life. Well I don't think that you can maximize happiness because um, there's a reason your body detects misery and, and makes you know makes an interpretation of its environment such that it's miserable and uh, now the the way this language issue gets involved is um, uh, and Menhem was arguing against this you know he's for example says his sister died of cancer and that wasn't interesting um, and he says everybody when they say something interesting they mean they enjoyed it but see, that's the thing, you know. We do generally, you know, it's like the modern mystics, you know, tea talk kind of language there where, uh, yeah, you know, we talk about things that are interesting often assuming we like them because generally we like things that we consider interesting, that we are interested in because and we know them to be interesting to us. You know, but, uh, you know, I'm not changing language to say, no, interesting is when something holds your interest. Okay. And by that definition, by that understanding of the word interest, where not everything is just a, a, a word of, wait, do, does this word get my rocks off? Yes or no, and that's the part of the meaning of every word. You know, no, it's not about that. It's about, you know, does it hold your interest? And of course, when a, something terrible befalls a loved one, you're interested, you call for updates, you want to know what's going on, that's interest. You know, movies... Uh, or just fictions, often just horrible experiences, and just even just made up. And they hold people's interest. Yes, people are interested in the negative aspects of life. So, um, you know, I think that holds. And now, why that's important is because you see, now I'm a, a skeptic. I don't believe in absolutes. I don't believe in universals. I don't believe there's anything that's truly universal to all um, all possible situations. We can't. Con Conceive of all possible situations to check, and it doesn't seem that things pertain that widely to me. They, but there are localities, things that are true to a locality, like, um, you know, if you are in the locality of our solar system, then the main source of energy is the sun. If you're in the space of our solar system and you look at the energy, um, the greatest single source of energy is going to be the sun, most, most likely. Um, and, uh, you know, on, this, on solar system scales. So, if you, uh, you know, are a human, then your locality, you know, necessitates you need, you know, water and oxygen to survive and so forth. So these localities are like, you know, you know universals. And, and they do the, the useful work that universals uh, are supposed to do, that, that are the, just the real motivating force of us wanting to know a universal. It's something that can be, it's an idea that can be reused over and over and over again. And uh, the fact that life is interesting is good because we're trying to figure out, well, what is the consistent meaning or purpose of life? And if life is interesting, then that tells us something about what the purpose of life is. So, uh, cheers.